I love that they use newborn babies, which I know is hard because I, I've definitely seen the behind the scenes over the years that like, you know, they can't have that baby on set for very long because it's so fresh and so new, but that adds a lot to the realisticness of the birth to see this tiny newborn baby as opposed to like a three month old with a little bit of red jello on it. So <laughs> I've always loved that about the show. The way that they deal with tragedy as along with birth, I think is part of the magic of Call the Midwife. This is your first baby, but we do this all the time. <laughs> and it does it with such compassion. I think Call the Midwife really shines a light on the skill set of midwives. It really has done a great job of showing that special relationship that midwives are known for having with their patients. And that's the shared decision making. There was a time I can think of where Trixie was caring for the woman who was blind and she wanted to give birth at home even though Trixie felt that the maternity home would be a better option for her. We'll do everything we can to help you manage it. I can manage fine, nurse. Most new mothers need support. Why don't we take this one step at a time? Thank you. When I really look at the show, what has its appeal been? I think the mystery, but also the intensity of birth and the entire cycle of life. It definitely touches on multiple public health issues. What Call the Midwife really does do well is to really focus and deal with birth, death, and love. I just think it's a great show. So many people here love it and I hope it never goes away. You get sad when characters go away, like Chummy was one of my favorites, but then you get you fall in love with new characters, right? So I hope they never feel like they'll run out of storylines and if they do they should call on us and we can give them some new storylines. <laughs>